I started to design video games around 1981-82 because I was a pro gamer. I was the national video game champion for Atari 2600 Space Invaders. I wrote books, novels, magazine articles, and then eventually I learned how to program the Atari 2600. From that, I started my career in making video games. I just love creating worlds, worlds that people can exist in, play in. It's all fantasy, but it's where you get to decide how to interact with everyone, everywhere from being evil and destroy everything, or being good and helping everyone. But it's designing a game that allows you to be what you want to be. What's changed in all these years is that when I first started writing video games back in the 80s and 90s, the technology was so primitive and so the tools were non-existent that I had to create everything. I had to create the music drivers, the video drivers, the art tools, everything. Today, you have tools such as Unreal, Unity, in which anybody with an idea and the ability to just work can create anything they want. I'm expecting in the few next years of video games is to see a lot of innovation in VR, in virtual reality, in augmented reality, I also expect to see new innovative video games made by independent developers who aren't making Call of Duty 1200 or you know, more sequels. They're making something brand new, something I've never seen before. And these are the things that I'm really looking forward to seeing.